Hi all, wanted to put together a video uh, outlining some additional uses uh, for Twitter Gadget, additional locations and ways you can repurpose Twitter Gadget uh, to your convenience for using uh, again, essentially as you wish. You, some of you may have seen some of the recent videos we put together for alternative homepage services such as how to integrate Twitter Gadget into your NetVibes account or your ProtoPage account um, and that should come in handy for those looking again for alternative homepage services for, uh, compared to iGoogle for example. Um, but in addition to that we've always had a more page linked from our homepage that discusses lots of different ways and locations where you can use or implement uh, Twitter Gadget uh, again for your use. So if you go to our homepage, <clears throat> excuse me, www.twittergadget.com, you scroll towards the bottom, you'll see a section labeled More Ways to Use Twitter Gadget. If you go ahead and just click on any one of those icons, they all link to the same page, the More page. And right now we happen to be in Google Chrome because the first example we're going to show um, is the Google Chrome application. Uh, you see first listed are some other alternative uses that we've done previous videos on. If you haven't seen those, go ahead and check out our YouTube page, uh, YouTube dot com slash twitter gadget for those videos for how to integrate into net vibes as a widget or proto page as a widget but next we're going to talk about how to use twitter gadget as a chrome app and what a chrome app allows you to do is create a desktop icon or a taskbar icon or pin it to your start menu that allows you to load up twitter gadget as a separate instance from your browser so that it loads more like a application as opposed to a web page in a browser you no longer have all of the um, address bars, bookmark links, toolbars, all that good kind of thing. It's more of a standalone instance uh, to essentially treat Twitter Gadget as if it were an application itself rather than a web page. How do you go about doing that? Well, firstly, you load Twitter Gadget uh, directly in your browser. So you use the Twitter Gadget direct URL for those who may be aware, and that's the last option in the more. You can just use Twitter Gadget straight from your web browser rather than integrate it as a widget. So that's our starting point for a lot of these other alternative uses. Um, so what we'll do is we'll finish reading this example and then we'll go actually do that. Once we load it in the browser, we click the icon, the customized icon, top right hand corner. We select tools, create application, and we, and we decide where we want to install it. So let's go ahead and do this first option. Load Twitter Gadget directly in our browser. Come to the, tool, the customization icon, select tools, create application shortcut, and you'll see your options. We're going to say, okay, let's just create a desktop icon. We can go ahead and close Twitter Gadget out now, and you'll see we have a little desktop icon now set labeled as Twitter Gadget Twitter Client. If we go ahead and double click that, we're going to launch it, and what you see is we essentially have a standalone application without all of the browser functionality that you typically have, all the additional functionality you don't necessarily need, making Twitter Gadget essentially a standalone application. Works nice, it's quick, convenient. For those who use Chrome, it's a handy solution uh, that you may want to consider uh, in the form of an implementation. More, that's option number one. <clears throat> Bookmarklet app. This is also a nice, quick, handy, convenient utility that allows you to use Twitter Gadget um, uh, or have Twitter Gadget available to you for quick access via a little bookmarklet. You can use that in essentially in any of the major browsers, i.e. Firefox, Chrome, probably Opera, Safari, whatever it might be. We'll look at these instructions here and it'll instruct you directly how to do it. For most browsers, all you do is tick, um, just go to this link that we've created for you right here on the bookmark that app uh, section just take that link and drag it to your bookmarks um, toolbar so now you have that bookmarks toolbar you can be at any page you happen to be out on the web you want to check your twitter feed uh, your twitter information just go ahead and click that bookmarklet link and get a nice little concise pop-up window um, with access to your twitter gadget account um, and you're good to go so there's your bookmarklet link. Pretty nice, pretty convenient, pretty handy, quick access, concise, um, not expressly overt if you're trying to keep it uh, quiet uh, that you're accessing your Twitter uh, feed wherever you may be. It's a nice way to use that. Another option, one of my favorite options is for those who use Firefox explicitly is Firefox sidebar mode. And what sidebar mode allows you to do is keep your main page open to whatever website you may be visiting. Maybe checking your email, you may be uh, on your Facebook page, wherever it may be. But simultaneously while you're doing that, on your left hand side of your browser in sidebar mode, you can have your Twitter feed open with Twitter Gadget. How do you go about doing that? Easiest way to do that is again, load Twitter Gadget directly in your browser by clicking the link. You go ahead and then after you click that link, just take it and drag it again to your bookmark uh, toolbar. Go ahead and right click on it, select properties. We're going to call this Twitter Gadget 
sidebar. And the key thing is, is the very bottom. Load this bookmark in the sidebar. Check that, click save. So now let's go back to, let's say we're on the Twitter Gadget homepage. And, or we, we could have just as easily been on Facebook or anywhere else. We can click the Twitter Gadget sidebar mode. And what we will get, sorry, I misclicked that, is a nice little sidebar action for Twitter Gadget. Um, and you're good to go. You've got Twitter Gadget on the left. You've got your feed. You've got all your functionality. You can resize that as you wish. You have the main page you're browsing on the right hand side. You simultaneously multitask for all your different social media outlets, email, whatever it may be, and have your Twitter feed handy on the left hand side. So those are a couple of the other examples we had already mentioned on the more page. We can go ahead and close that out. The very last one, which you guys have seen by virtue of showing all these other examples, is just loading Twitter gadget directly in your browser. <clears throat> That's another option where you can just have a full screen, full functionality access to Twitter gadget as a web page client directly in your browser rather than integrating as a widget, um, as a sidebar mode, as a <clears throat> um, as an applet, whatever it might be. <clears throat> so again, hope that helps clarify and uh, bring to light some additional uses you may find handy for Twitter Gadget. And uh, once again, as always, thanks for using Twitter Gadget.